25-year-old artist Joe Mawson's latest exhibition uses photography and video to take an innovative look at two recent disasters in Britain. The work I'm doing for it is uh, restaging of um, disaster imagery. I've taken imagery from the Selby rail crash, which happened in 2001, um, and taken some, some of the news footage and some of the uh, documentary imagery and just restaged it using uh, models and sort of crudely reconstructed these photographs and then re-photographed those reconstructions. Um, I've also um, produced a video work uh, which is based on the Lockerbie disaster which um, in the same way it uses an airfix kit which I've just destroyed and, and restaged to, you know, in, which recreates that, those iconic images from, uh, from, the, from the event. Joe's work is part of the Object of Photography exhibition which is on display at the Stanley and Audrey Burton Gallery at Leeds University from the 7th of April to the 19th of June. I'm very pleased Joe wanted to be involved and uh, I'm quite excited about the, the sort of interest in the media that, that his work has developed. Um, I was hoping, our curators are always hoping that the media will pick up on the story and be interested and, and sometimes you can't interest them in especially contemporary art, a lot of people don't really care. But the fact that his work is dealing with, with issues that are quite close to the heart in Yorkshire, I think it's touched a nerve and it's an interest and, and it's very exciting because I know people are going to come to the show and, and perhaps more people than normal are going to engage with it, so that's I think, very gratifying as a human. My work is primarily concerned with sort of social memory and, and how, how people remember events and, and how those things sort of, sort of come to determine sort of Sort of the way we live and, and, and certain aspects of regionalism. So I think if anything that I want to, you know, people to get from the exhibition, it's just to sort of remember a certain event, a certain time, and and maybe just sort of throw up new questions about that, maybe rethink a, a certain event. The work itself it plays on media imagery, so um, it's not a surprise. But it was never like a an intention to to sort of provoke people or, or sort of. I didn't want to be, you know, deliberately controversial. There's no, there's no intention with that. I think it's, in, I think the work is, in some ways, not, not controversial. It's kind of quite, it's quite apathetic in some ways. It's kind of, it's quite, it's quite tragic. And I think that's what I was trying to reflect from the original, you know, the original event. The thing is, when you're an artist, you make work, and then there's a period of time between the time you've made it and the time it gets shown, and you kind of, you forget about that work, and then so all of a sudden, the exhibition comes along, and, and you've got to. You've got to reimagine it and you've got to think about it again and, and suddenly you're, it's like having a job interview. You've got to, you've got to show yourself off to a public. And it, it can be nerve-wracking, definitely. I think, I think see, deep down all artists are a little bit vain and I think it's a nice opportunity to have everyone looking at you.